When I'm feeling dreary, annoyed, and generally unimpressed by life, I imagine what it would be like to come back to this world for just a day after having been dead. I imagine how sentimental I would feel about the very things I once found stupid, hateful, or mundane. Oh, there's a light switch. I haven't seen a light switch in so long. I didn't realize how much I missed light switches. Oh, oh, and look, the stairs up to our front porch are still completely cracked. Hello, cracks. Let me get a good look at you. Why did that used to bother me? It's so endearing. I think it's completely normal and almost natural for us as humans to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of the world and our jobs and relationships and our singular experience that we forget all the beautiful little things that simply are just being alive. And that is where this video was birthed from. I really wanna call attention to the small, beautiful little things in life that we often forget about or bypass because we're waiting for the large monumental things to happen. But there really is such joy and so much to be found in just realizing it's simply enough to just be here existing. And there's so much to feel inspired by in this world. The rest of that Pinterest quote reads, I like to pretend I already died and asked to be sent back to earth so I can swim in lakes again and see mountains and get my heart broken and love my friends and cry so hard in the bathroom and go grocery shopping a thousand more times and that I promised I would never forget the miracle of being here. I'm at the end of my undergrad college experience and there's a lot of big moments happening in my life right now, making my postgrad plans, thinking about graduation, lots of endings, just I'm in a really transitional period and when days go by or events happen that don't feel as large and grand as something like graduating college, I often take them for granted and I don't appreciate them the way I should. So I've really been trying to live intentionally. I've really been trying to take in every single moment for exactly what it is. And I found such inspiration in the small little tiny things that do occur every single day and just how that is what it means to be a human, at least in my opinion. And that is what it means to be here experiencing this world. It's to get my heart broken and swim and look at the mountains and breathe the fresh air and stand in the rain, just like that quote said. And remembering that it is literally enough just to be here surviving. I don't need anything else. I wrote down all my thoughts to make sure that I say everything I want to say. So if you saw everything everywhere all at once, you know that one scene that I know shook everyone to the core, the just be a rock scene. Joy talks about how on that specific planet or in that specific lifetime, conditions weren't good enough for humans to exist. Their souls could exist, but their physical body couldn't survive on that planet. And that kind of reminded me the universe continues even without us. The universe can survive without us, so having consciousness is a gift because not every single lifetime you get consciousness. Consciousness to love, consciousness to experience, consciousness to remember, consciousness to simply just sit here and have eyes that can see, legs that can dance, lungs that can breathe, just consciousness and physical well-being. That is so, that is something that I know I take for granted and I'm sure all of us take for granted and it's probably a big idea and reason why we can so easily feel uninspired and unmotivated by life because like I keep saying, we forget it is simply enough just to be here. A way that I like to show gratitude for consciousness is through quiet times, presence, and reflectiveness. I used to always have to have some sort of sound going in the background, whether it be music, TikTok, YouTube videos, I could never do things in silence. But in the last couple months, I've really been pushing myself to have more quiet moments, to just let the only thing that I'm hearing be the world and be the universe. So while I'm cooking, I'll just do it in silence. When I'm getting ready, I'll do it in silence. I try to have complete silence for the first two hours of every single day. I just silence. Getting to hear the sounds of the world, getting to hear the sounds of the universe, that has been a really big thing for me. This goes along with being quiet, but meditation has really helped me stay present. I'll do a guided one, or I will just simply lay here on my floor and do breath work and again, be quiet and let the world kind of bring me what it wants to bring me. But just any sort of action that makes you feel aligned, any action that is emphasizing stillness and emphasizing calm, quiet, relaxating behavior. I don't know if relaxating is a word. I don't think that is. Relaxing behavior just realizing I am in this moment. There is no past, there is no future. The only thing I have is right now. Whatever activity makes you feel that connected, that grounded, that is what I do for presence. 
Journaling has been the biggest thing for me as far as reflecting goes. In the morning, I'll reflect on how I slept, my intentions for the day, what maybe if I had any dreams. At night, I'll journal about the day, any emotions that I had. At any moment throughout the day when I feel like I need a release or I feel like I want to, again, reflect or think or just expand my thoughts on something, I will go grab my journal and start writing. I understand my emotions better. I understand myself in general better. I understand the world better. I feel like I always get downloads while journaling, just going and going and spirit will just come or my mind will just elicit this idea. And the more I write, the more sense that it makes. But being reflective and documenting, recording the life that I'm currently living, but getting to go back and read these things that I used to do and read my life, it one, shows me how quickly things can change and two, it shows me how that version of me had no idea what was coming next. I like to believe that happiness is not as complicated as we make it out to be. And I wanna put an emphasis on the word believe because this is my belief system. And reality is what you want it to be. The only thing going on up here is what you choose. You see the world as you are. We don't see it as it is. So that is why I wanna put an emphasis on the word believe because this is my belief system, but you can believe whatever you like. So anyway, I think happiness is a lot less complicated than what we make it out to be. And it makes the hard things like work and maintaining relationships and figuring out your next steps, it makes those really uncomfortable, hard situations in life that much more manageable because I know the real happiness, the real kicker of all of this, the real thing that's really gonna make me happy and excited at the end of the day are the small things that I don't have to force, the small things that I don't have to work that hard for. And by extension, knowing that everything and anything that I could possibly need is already inside of me. Any love that I potentially long for, it's because it's coming out of me. Any success that I'm longing for, it's because I know that I'm capable of it. Anything that I could possibly need is already right here inside of me. And that makes me believe happiness is not that complicated. I know that my soul chose to come down to this earth and get the most out of it whether that be bad experiences, good experiences, exciting things, sad things, whatever it is, I know that my soul wants these lessons. My soul is craving to be here. So even in the worst parts of life, even in the hardest things, it's like this is what I am here to do. This is all that I'm here to do, just experience and move on the path that is already cleared for me. So to close this out, if you are feeling unimpressed, stuck, tired of life, if you're just uninspired, I want you to look at the small things. I want you to look at the tiny little mundane things that occur every single day in your life that you're probably bypassing and change your perspective on them. Look at them and feel grateful that you're seeing them. Truly think about if you were an alien and you were coming to earth for the first time, what type of things would amaze you? Trees would freak you out. Seeing a little butterfly floating around, you would be like, what is that flying in the air? Like seeing clothes, you would be like, oh my God, like people have fabric on them. Would you even know what fabric means? You would be so amazed with the beautiful wonders and everyday things that we have in life. I know it might feel a little silly to go outside or to look at the world and think, oh, I've looked at it one way for so long. How can I just switch my mindset and look at it a different way? But there's so much power in realizing you don't have to see the world as you've been told to see it. You can see the world however you please because reality is in your mind and it is all what you want. Go outside, look at the little things. Remember there is so, so, so much to be thankful for, to be inspired by. The tiniest little things, like the smallest things that occur every single day in your life can be a source for inspiration if you want them to be. With that, I hope in a way this video can resonate with you, whether it be the smallest amount, the largest amount, just sticking along, hearing what I have to say means a lot to me and I hope you enjoyed. I will see you very soon for a brand new video. I post very often and all over on the different social media platforms. So I will see you somewhere else on the internet. I hope you enjoyed. Whatever you're going through, know that it does get better and know that it is something you're meant to be experiencing. Like life does not happen without purpose. So that's all. I'll see you very soon.